Good evening, everyone. Our last break of the night is 2017 Panini Contenders Optic Football 10 box intercase break number 13. We don't have any, very much uh, Contenders Football left, Contenders Optic Football left. So there it is. We're down to our last four breaks. Tuesday the 13th, EA wants select basketball tonight. Well, I'll gladly do it tomorrow, Eric. It's too early in the week to, to get burned out there. Matt with the last spot mojo. We can't go too nuts this early in the week. We still, we still have four more nights to go. It's a good, good start. My, my, my Tuesday night hot date. Uh, I just have a lot of work to do after. I haven't even printed out any all the labels yet. You guys have been keeping me busy. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. We'll do that side right there. This side we'll reserve for... I have, I have a date with some Irish whiskey or scotch. One or the other. That'll be PYT 14. That'll be manana. If you fill this up tonight, I'll do it. How about that? How about that challenge right there? I'm not going to do select. That takes too long. This only takes 20 minutes. If you fill this up, I'll do this tonight. But I have to fill it by the by the time I end this break. That's that's my challenge to you. Everyone says, Joe, uh, stay up late. Why don't you Why don't you do some late night breaks? Why don't you hang out until? Well, as much as I love you guys, we're not. You know, we got to we got to do some breaks too. Not just hang out until 1 a.m. All right, so good luck, everybody. Uh, I've not heard of the red breast. Is that good? Is it good? Sounds good. Oh, man, after all that adjusting, I'm like clumsy Amari Cooper hands. All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. Uh, Browns already have a QB, Corey. I got himself. Khalil Mack. I do like redheads, EA. So, oh, a single pot Irish whiskey. That sounds good. Can I find that at my local retailer? Is it is it is it pricey? I'm a Jameson guy. Forty four out of ninety nine. Good Catholic Irish whiskey. <laughs> Jordy Nelson, Offensive Player of the Year, no longer for the Packers, maybe. He's done, right? Off, Sent off into the wilderness. The wilderness of free agency, 78 out of 99. So Raiders with the Khalil Mack, Johnny. Hackers, Greg. Andrew Luck. And Odell Beckham Jr. reveals a redemption. Should we look at the on-card first? It's John Ross III. Nice, right, 60 a bottle, that's not bad. Well, might as well sleeve these up too. Those base cards get top loaded and sent out as well. All right, the redemption is, bam. Derek Barnett, rookie ticket autograph for the Fly Eagles Fly. Ed Ramos. You know what's funny is when I when I go to eBay and I see my writing on redemptions that are being sold, it gives me a warm feeling inside. It's like, hey, that's my writing. I hope people get get some good value out of this on a secondary market. Well, yeah, that sounds that sounds pretty. I I'll look into that. It's red breast, Irish whiskey. I do like the Irish whiskey. Give that a shot. Tell you what, Eric, you should you should come out to California. We'll grab a bottle, hang out at the shop, bust open some cases. How about that, Thomas Rawls. 
until we find a Leonard Fournette or Lori Marketing. Uh, 102 out of 199, Thomas Rawls. If not, if we don't find him, we'll have a good time. <laughs> uh, Thomas Rawls going to Andy and the Seahawks. And another Jordy Nelson for Greg. If we don't find a Leonard Fournette, <laughs> Eric, then we'll just be like, eh. At least we had, at least we polished this bottle off. There's Zeke. There's Run and Blake Bortles. Revealing a Marcus Williams. Stephon Diggs right there. Hey, oh. Remember how there was some crazy rumor that, like, Drew Brees was going to go to the Vikings? Crazy. And behind Blake Bortles is Return of the Mac. Mac Hollins. Rookie ticket. <laughs> I just read what you said, Matt. Would be wild if the Browns just go off the... Just go nuts and just grab a defensive end. Defensive end Chubb with the first pick. Cleveland France would melt down. They'd be like, what? All right, next box. Oh, you have, you have Camara. Oh, you have the Saints in this one. Oh, you do it. You have the Jaguars in this one, too. Both. How about both? There's Devontae Adams. I mean, that would be, it might, that actually might be a smarter move. Don't defensive end careers last, last longer than uh, running back careers? John Ross, Rookie of the Year contenders. You know, I've never seen that movie, Eric. He is like, I heard the Browns were bringing Kevin Costner for the draft. I haven't seen Draft Day. Is it any good? Uh, Greg, again, with the Packers. John Ross going to the Bengals. That's for Eric. Trevor Simeon. And behind Tariq Cohen is Quincy Wilson, 25. Rookie ticket autograph for the Colts. That'll be for Jared. There you go, Jared. Oh, it's not good. But if it was on like USA Network on a Sunday morning and the only thing on is like golf and it's not like a major tournament. Nathan Peterman. What did they what did the Bills do with their quarterback situation? Did they get anybody? Today? Or are they going with Nathan Peterman? Cuz they got rid of Tyrod. I haven't heard any, anyone say anything about that today. There's Tariq Cohen for the Bears. But most likely, Saquon Barkley will be going first overall. Uh, no, they want five picks. They don't want five picks a game. You think... What are the odds of Nathan Peterman averaging five picks a game? That, that, that's not possible. He's more likely to, to have five touchdowns in his next game. Give the Peterman a chance. They haven't picked up a quarterback. They're clearly going to go with Nathan Peterman. There's Devonta Freeman. 22 out of 199. The Dirty Birds. Also for the Dirty Birds. Matty Ice. Wow, Nathan P. EA is like Peterman's terrible. Andy saying Peterman is trash. Corey saying I can throw better than Nathan Peterman. Wow. <laughs> Eric's like he threw four picks against Florida when we was at Tennessee. So like, okay, so Eric's in a in a in a qualified position, I suppose. And behind Aaron Jones is Sidney Jones, keeping up with the Joneses. Rookie ticket auto. All we are saying is give Peterman a chance. All we are saying is give Peterman a chance. There's Amara Darbo. Rookie ticket auto for Andy and the Seahawks. There you go, Andy, on the board. All right, let's get your let's get your other two teams a hit too. 
Tomasi. He was in a playoff game for like two minutes and threw a pick. What if Nathan Peterman's listening out listening right now? Man. Arthur with the Nathan Peterman. Huh? Yeah, Arthur's like, watch out for Nathan Peterman. Careful. Oh, look at this. When asked about Peterman, noted signal, signal caller whisperer John Gruden, current Raiders coach, said, I think he's going to be a real good pro quarterback. I think any team in the league, you can cater your offense for Peterman. That is good news for the Bills, who will get a chance to mold the rookie into a great premier field general. This autograph is guaranteed by Pitney American Corporation. Come on. Are you saying Andy, Eric, Dawson, you guys know better than John Gruden? Think you guys know better than John Gruden? Guess so. I think I think Nathan Peterman would accept that challenge, Dawson. You could throw it better than better with your left foot. I think Nathan Peterman would accept that challenge. Arthur's saying so Arthur's serious. He's saying Peterman will turn some heads. Just you just watch. He has the bills. There's a reason why he's getting them. There's Zach Cunningham, rookie ticket. There's the number, 140. How many of these have I done? I didn't know where they're John Green says out of all QBs, he is a nice guy. <laughs> Matt's like, well, he's not going to write, he's trash on the card. Yeah. <laughs> what if they did? Well... No, Gruden's, Gruden's a professional. He's not like a 10-year-old kid. He's not a, he's not a 10-year-old YouTube commenter. He's not going to say Gruden's going to be like, this guy This here, This here. guy here sucks. 23 out of 99 of that volume. He just won't invite him to like that Gruden quarterback camp. There's Amari Cooper, and behind Amari Cooper is Stacy Coley. Rookie ticket blue. It is no in all seriousness, yeah. It's it's tough to tell who's really gonna have make it in the NFL or not. Says Moody. Like look at Jared Goff. After Jared Goff's first year, nine out of twenty-five. After Jared Goff, his first year, everyone was like, "Get rid of him, trade him. He's done." Joe Flacco reveals there's the Camara lights Camara action for EA Sports. It's in the game. Nice. Did he get it all on the... Sometimes he spills off the card a little bit. Not this time. Yeah, look at Case Keenum. This is true. Yeah, there, there always does seem to be a Camara in this. Greg Olson blue. No worries, Eric. Let's find you that four net now. There's Greg Olson. Out of 99. Panthers. Mark Glassman. There's Todd Gurley, offensive player of the year contenders. Absolutely. More than just a contender. Somebody. Out of 49 on that one. Behind Matty Ice is his teammate, Devonta Freeman. Behind Devonta Freeman is Jordan Leggett. Rookie ticket autograph. That goes to the Jets, Jets, Jets. Big boy is 007 with that one. And behind Devonta Freeman is Christian McCaffrey. C-Mac, run CMC for Mark and the Panthers. I like that hot take from Dawson. He's, he's all on that Josh Gordon hype train. 2018 MVP, he says. Maybe. When's the last time a, when's the last time a wide receiver got MVP? 
Really? Is that 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 base Camara is getting about 150 to 200? Wow. I didn't realize that. I thought maybe like 100. That's even better than I thought it would be. Yeah, Christian McCaffrey's gonna have a nice season next year, I think. Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, that goes to Matt and the Giants, New York Football Giants. Twenty-eight out of one ninety-nine, and Stephon Gilmore, Defensive Player of the Year contenders for the Pats. That'll be for Karen. One out of twenty-five. Redemption. There's Isaiah Crowell. Oh, Corey's saying that. Uh, Corey's saying that Camara is at a, is seventy five dollars, not one fifty two to two hundred. That sounds a little bit closer. That's what I thought. Oh, you're thinking graded. I see. Well, these, these should grade nicely, actually. You want me to put a put a fake Odell Beckham Jr. auto on that? I can do an Odell Beckham Jr. auto, right? And those are pretty easy, aren't they? Uh, I don't know if I, maybe, uh, I don't want to go to these guys. I don't know, I'll try. I don't know if I can do it. Nope, see, that's see, that's wrong already. He has a tail, that's that's a J. I've just written OJ. It almost curls around like this, and his B kind of does this, and then he does that. I'll work on it, Matt. I'll work on it. I feel like I could get close. All right. There's a Dory Jackson rookie ticket autograph for the Titans. Now to go to Eric. Uh, Eric was thinking graded, Joe P. Uh, Moody's asking, yeah, uh, yeah, I think he will because, yeah, I don't think they really knew how to use him last year, but I think they want to use him. You know what I mean? Like they, they, they're moving Calvin Benjamin. They moved him. They've tried to integrate him into the offense a little bit more. There's Mike Williams. Nice rookie ticket autograph. And I think they don't they don't want Cam Newton running around as much. You know, so they want I think more of the off, more of that offense to go to go through Christian McCaffrey. And at least I think that's what their their plan will be. Yep, Jonathan Stewart low longer there. Um, I think like and they like the I think Curtis Samuel. Uh, also a sort of speedy guy. I think they kind of want to use that. So that's, I think they want to try to build their their offensive identity may change in the, over the next couple of years. You know, with a player like Christian McCaffrey, it could be an interesting like offense, like a, one that would be, that might be hard to uh, one that might be hard to to defend. Is he a better running back or would that see that? I don't know. I think he's a unique kind of guy. Jarvis Landry Blue. He's unique, like Lonzo Ball's unique. Manages a plus minus of eighteen in a game, <laughs> but then, but then has ever shoots two for eleven from the field. How does that happen? Forty-seven out of ninety-nine. Mike Williams. Oh, Eric was thinking encased football. He said he sold one for two hundred. The nine-five. Well, you might be able to grade those Camaras. That might still still yield you a pretty decent grade. Matt Stafford. Is this our first dual autograph? Wow. It is, and it's a good one. Dalvin Cook, Joe Mixon. Four twenty. 
What a hot, hot hit right here. Uh, let's see. I'm going to break either Eric's heart or Jared's heart. So one of your hearts will be broken at the end. And back here is Carlos Henderson. The easiest auto in history. It is a smoking hit, Andy. That's right. It's legal in California. It's okay to talk about. If it's not legal in your state, just turn off the stream now. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't turn off the stream. There's Jay Cutler. Uh, Broncos, Oppo, Vic. There you go, Vic. Uh, it's gotten better, Matt. It, it's gotten better. Trust me. He's a rookie. He's just a rookie. He's just growing into his autograph. Corey Devonshire wants uh, wants to go just King Solomon style and cut the baby in half, huh? So the one that objects will be like the real mother, that kind of thing. It'll be like, and you just give it to her instead. The person that says, no, don't do it. That's the rightful owner of the card. Larry Fitzgerald. Sixty-nine out of one ninety-nine for Andy and the Cardinals. All pro contenders. Greg Olson, Panthers, goes to Mark. Dawson says it's legal in your whole. What country are you in? Forget Don. What country are you in, Dawson? Sixty-four out of ninety-nine. That one, Mark. Jordy Nelson. Forget where Dawson's from. Ryan Switzer, rookie ticket autograph. Arthur, 5'10". It's kind of generous for Ryan Switzer, isn't it? No? Is he? It's about my height. Oh, you're in Canada. That's right. Is it really? I guess it is. I don't know. Not, not really my thing. Uh, Jay Cutler reveals a Taiwan Taylor. That goes to EA Sports. It's in the game. There you go, Eric. Just like that, last box. Good luck, everybody. It's a fun break. It's a nice show closer. <laughs> yeah, neither, neither is Ryan Switzer, Arthur. That's what I'm trying to say. Aaron Jones out of 199. Me and Mr. Jones. Packers, Greg. Another all pro, Greg Olson, 26 out of 49 for Mark. Right, that's that's about Ryan Switzer's height, isn't it, Arthur? Oh, Joe P, that's awfully nice of you. 5'8. Oh, let me get Joe Flacco first. There we go. Marcus May for the Jets. Jets, Jets. That goes to Big Boys 007. And behind Garrett Bowles is Samaj P. Ryan for Nick Sanderson. Rookie ticket autograph. All right, heartbreak time. And heart make time. I'm going to make a heart. I'm going to break a heart. All right. Let's see. Let's get close these windows out. Don't need those anymore. Let's get random.org. No March Madness spots to give away. Those are already full. Here we go. Minnesota and Cincinnati. We're on to Cincinnati. We're on to Cincinnati. EA, Eric has the Bengals. And Jared 
has the Vikings. Four out of 20, a smoking hit. Two and a two, four times. Wow, the deuces are wild. It's a two and a two for a dual auto. Round two. Something Vince Scully would say all the time. Two men on, bottom of the second. Two on, two out. Deuces are wild. Anyway, deuces are wild, boys and girls. Four times, two and a two for this list. Oh, the suspense. One, two, three, and four. <laughs> On the fourth time, flips up to Cincinnati. My apologies to Jared. His heart is broken, but Eric's heart is made. Heart breaks and heart makes here at Jaspie's Hobbyland. Four out of 20, that smoke and hit going to EA Sports. It's in the game. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. There it is right there. Second inner case. We'll probably do tomorrow, so check it out. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.